while still on day two of AFREF, it was an exciting lineup of just never before screen films featuring both homegrown and international productions. And I think that's really what's exciting about AFREF. Now, amongst the highlights was the highly anticipated film, The Other Side of the Bridge. Now, this offered a fresh perspective on global storytelling and festival goers are just having a ball, enjoying an eclectic mix of films that showcase unique voices from across Africa. I know we made a great film, but it's interesting watching it with other people because I've watched the film almost 70 times, but then seeing it, seeing it with an audience, especially an audience of film enthusiasts and filmmakers, and seeing how well received it was, you know, um, it's a blessing. Yeah, it's a blessing, it's a blessing, and I'm very thankful for that. Collaboration is the key to our growth, and I've been a big... I've been a big advocate from collaboration right from our first project, um, Gangs of Lagos. Gangs of Lagos took about six production companies and 20 other people to make. Even this, like when we look at our list of collaborators on this film, there are about 20, you know, and that's the only way we could get films, that's the only way we can get films made on the scale that we want them to be made. That's the only way we can make big films. Especially even when you look at Hollywood, you look at the opening credits and you see that a lot of the big films are collaborations between multiple production studios and multiple production companies. That's the only way to make big films is through collaboration. And I'm happy with the level of collaboration that I'm seeing in our industry. I love that people are finding their tribes, finding their groups and learning to work together. And I pray that it continues. So excited that we made a beautiful film and people have seen it. Most importantly, it's screening at AFIF, which is one of the biggest film festivals in Africa. And people have seen it. The reviews have been very beautiful. It's also not the regular um, comedy, romance, but people love it. It's a spot film and everyone loves it, so that gives me so much joy. I can't describe the feeling because it was something we shared over two years now. And seeing that come alive with people in the audience watching and enjoying it, it's an indescribable feeling for me. But it's an amazing one to have. I think this year is going to be the best yet from every, every other edition. Of course, next year is going to be a step higher because the films I'm seeing here, <laughs> it's tough. And I think that the inclusiveness, the, the people that we have, the producers, the directors, the young filmmakers particularly that are attending this year's Africa, it, it, is, it is the icing on the cake. Mm. Well, in recognition of his contributions to film, uh, also happening on day two, Afrif honored John Boyga, the actor, with a special award, the Herbert Wigwe Trailblazer Award. And this was in recognition of the late Herbert, Herbert Wigwe's affection for the arts and John Boyega's dedication to it. And it was presented by the founder of Afrif, Chioma Ude, and it marked a memorable evening for festival attendees as well. Take a look. I'll tell you a little about this um, award that I didn't mention. I, I didn't have the opportunity to mention last night because I was so overwhelmed and happy. Um, Herbert, if you knew him, always he loves people like him. Anybody that knows Herbert knows two of this. What are you doing? How are you doing it? And so this would mean so much to him. And then the fact that this, <laughs> I can imagine his comments when he sees this. But the fact that this um, came from one of the mines in Bauchi is also something that I know would have been requesting. So the whole process of having Ivani Mune, who's extremely artsy, go get these uh, stones. Him and some other lady, I'm so sorry I don't have any. Mina. What? Mina. Mina. To get this, to present it to um, John. I'm going to give the American honors yeah. of doing that. So, as a trailblazer award from Canada, so consider this first time from Canada. Congratulations. Um. Thank you. And I just want to take a moment to encourage all of you. 
photo. I want to take a moment to encourage you. Come on, man. And I want to share this with you. It's not just mine, this is ours. As we plot and plan to shape this world through art, through cinema, I'm praying that your specific part where I'm praying that you will be built, a self-built motivation to pull you through. I'm praying that that happens for you. I'm praying also that your success, your success, will reach the highest heights and your humility will take you through. Amen.